Hello there. Welcome back to the Power User Training as we continue to go through and configure your account for maximum success. And on this particular training, I want to talk to you about an important feature within the phone burner system, and that is the voicemail library. So first, let me show you how to get to the voicemail library. From within your phone burner settings, which is where we are right now, we're going to go to the dial session settings. Now, of course, if you're not already in the phone burner settings section, you can get here by clicking on the menu in the upper right hand portion of the page and going down to, in this case, dial session settings. From the dial session settings, we're going to click on voicemail library. Now, when you first get to the voicemail library, you're going to be presented with three options for adding a new voicemail to the voicemail library. The first option is to use your browser. That allows you to use your headset and microphone that's plugged into your computer to record your voicemail. One of the most popular options. The next option is to upload an audio file from your computer into the phone burner system. And the final option is to use your phone. You can dial one of these two numbers into your pin. All very simple. Now I'm going to jump back to the browser option and I'm going to use that option to record our first voicemail in the voicemail library. So first off, I'm going to give it a name. Once I've given it a name, I'm going to click on the red record button and you'll need to give your computer or browser permission to allow phone burner to access your microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and allow that. Once I do that, I get a countdown and I can start recording my voicemail. It's just recording the audio through my microphone that I've got plugged into my computer. If I need to take a break or I need to pause for a second, I can pause. I can restart. When I'm done recording, I hit this stop button right here and I have the ability to preview the recording. I can delete the recording. I'm going to go ahead and do that just to show you what that's like. And then I can start over. Once I click that red record button again, I get the countdown and I start recording my recording. I start recording my voicemail. Maybe that's a better way of saying that. Anyway, once I'm done, I go ahead and hit that stop button again, preview it. If I'm happy with it, I'm going to go ahead and save it. So now I've got my first voicemail in my voicemail library. Now in this particular case, this is a very generic voicemail. It's not specific to any type of campaign that I might be doing. And as we're going through this power user training, I'm going to be configuring phone burner for multiple types of calls. And I want to get multiple voicemails pre-recorded and in my account so that I can use them later on in the configuration of phone burner. See phone burner allows you to have multiple voicemails in your account. And by default, when you go to start a dial session, you pick one of those voicemails to use for that specific session. And then you also have the ability to configure your buttons or the dispositions in phone burner to have different audio files assigned to them. And so I'm going to take a few moments now and I'm going to add additional voicemail. So I'm going to click on the add voicemail button in the upper right hand portion here. I'm going to see the three options. Once again, I can use the browser option to record a voicemail or I can upload an audio file or I can use my phone. Now, of course, I'm not going to bore you and make you listen to me recording voicemails over the phone or browser. I'm just going to go ahead and upload the files that I've already pre-recorded and we're going to go ahead and speed this up in the recording. All right, and there we go. I now have my six voicemails uploaded or added to my voicemail library that I can now use when configuring my dispositions or initiating a new dial session. And at any point, I can come in here and delete these and add additional voicemails. But that's how easy it is for you to add audios or voicemails to your voicemail library so that you can start taking advantage of the feature within phone burner that allows you to instantly drop a voicemail as you're going from call to call in your dial sessions. Thanks for taking the time to watch this training on the voicemail library. Make sure you continue to go through the power user training module so that you learn everything you need to know about the phone burner system. Thanks again and happy dialing.